Control your thoughts and you control your circumstance. Everything in God's store is on the bottom shelf. You have to get on your knees to get it. The first principle of success is desire, knowing what you want. Desire is the planting of your seed. Desire is proof of the availability. Think of things not as they are, but as they might be. Don't merely dream but create. Playing safe is probably the most unsafe thing in the world. You cannot stand still. You must go forward. See things that you want as already yours. Know that they will come to you at need. Then let them come. Don't fret and worry about them. Don't think about your lack of them. Think of them as yours, as belonging to you, as already in your possession. Visualize this thing you want. See it, feel it, believe in it. Make your mental blueprint and begin. Take the first step, and your mind will mobilize all its forces to your aid. But the first essential is that you begin. Once the battle is started, all that is within and without you will come to your assistance. The essence of this law is that you must think abundance, see abundance, feel abundance, believe abundance. Let no thought of limitation enter your mind. If you don't make things happen, then things will happen to you. The great successful men of the world have used their imagination. They think ahead and create their mental picture in all its details, filling in here, adding a little there, altering this a bit and that a bit, but steadily building, steadily building. Mine is all that counts. You can be whatever you make up your mind to be. We can do only what we think we can do. We can be only what we think we can be. We can have only what we think we can have. What we do, what we are, what we have, all depend upon what we think. See things as you would have them be, instead of as they are. The greater the prevalence of positive thoughts, the more likely you are to receive a positive outcome. In every adversity there lies the seed of an equivalent advantage. In every defeat is a lesson showing you how to win the victory next time. If you procrastinate when faced with a big difficult problem, break the problem into parts, and handle one part at a time. All of us have bad luck and good luck. The man who persists through the bad luck, who keeps right on going, is the man who is there when the good luck comes, and is ready to receive it. The first essentials, of course, is to know what you want. The power for happiness, for good, for everything we need of life is within each one of us. The power is there, unlimited power. Any thought that is passed on to the subconscious, often enough, and convincingly enough, is finally accepted. You can do anything you think you can. This knowledge is literally the gift of the gods. <laughs>